Constance Coltman's story is an amazing story. It perhaps couldn't have happened at any other time. During the, the First World War, women were able to carry out all sorts of work because many of the men were away. So we brought together a group of 17 women today to start thinking about how we could actually celebrate a century of women's leadership. Kirsty Thorpe led us in um, just telling the story of Constance Coltman, who ministered in uh, Derby Street, which is near the famous Cable Street where the Battle of Cable Street happened. And the area, of course, has changed significantly. But still you could see some of the challenges that a ministry in the East End it perhaps couldn't have happened, um, except for the way congregational churches are constituted. So Constance went to Mansfield College and the principal at the time said, of course, she could come and enter ministerial training, but there was no way they could guarantee that she would be ordained. We came back here all together and then discussed together, well, what does this story actually mean for us today? How can we actually support um, women as they grow into leadership? She was ordained first um, in her maiden name and then she was married the next day and that was very important. We know that Constance didn't stay long in that first ministry. She had come from a middle class family, she was ministering the East End of London. It's a compelling story because it's so true to today. So many women in ministry doesn't go smoothly. There are difficulties, there are resistances. We faced a, a lack of access to resources, a lack of access to high level training. In Fresh Expressions of Church at the moment, we understand that more than half the women, the leaders are women, though they tend to be unpaid. And the paid people, the people who are uh, more prominent, tend to be the men. It's the women who are taking the lead, right on the edges, on the margins, right the way through history. That is very much a sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit. But we think that at least with today, we've started a process of some further thinking and some creative planning.